about a lot of different types of, of walls. And uh, one of the problems is we probably just take way too much for granted for the average listener in understanding uh, what it is we're talking about. So we talk a lot about a hollow wall. Okay, this, this would be a hollow wall. Okay, when you look down in it, there's nothing there. Now granted, if we were tying this into a footing or foundation, the bottom 12 inches would be poured solid. And there would be J bar or different, there's 10 different ways to tie this into the footing and foundation itself. And so, but other than that, the wall we want to, the objective is if we can keep it hollow by going with a stronger wall, stronger tensile strength, uh, stronger uh, structural strength, using uh, synthetic fiber, uh, using uh, plasticizers, just ways to strengthen the wall. And the answer is yes, we can. I mean, there are walls that can be, that there's, there's some walls that are constructed that are uh, printed with 500 PSI. I can print with 3,000 PSI, 5,000 PSI. Standard type S mortar mix is around 2,500 PSI. And so there, from there, we can start adding a myriad of different additives. I mean, we got color, okay? If we want a cantilever, then we're gonna have, uh, you know, liquid adhesives. There's powder adhesives. So cantilever, if, I, if every pass, I want to go like this and this and this. Uh, in addition to that, there's, you know, there's, there's so many uh, different types of products and additives that can be added. Uh, and not only that, I mean, this is, this is traditional, this is rebar. I'm going to drop it on the floor. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. This is basalt rebar, 30% stronger, okay? I can carry 50 of these on my shoulder upstairs. You're never going to do it with traditional number four steel rebar. There's so many new technologies that just nobody is using. And it's just ridiculous to me. I can't even, I can't fathom it at all. Now, now granted, this is available at every Home Depot. And, uh, you know, Gator Bar isn't. But it's a much better product much stronger product, okay? Rebar is just disastrous to concrete. It swells, it rusts. This is the reason uh, that in many cases, uh, concrete is, you know, a 50 year life. This is what the, one of the main reasons because this is how you structurally strengthen concrete with rebar, number four rebar, or rebar, Verticals, horizontals, all tied in and poured, but it's also one of the worst enemies to concrete. Most people don't realize that. So, uh, it gives it tensile strength, which concrete traditionally does not have. But you can start using different types of fibers and you can get concrete that is as strong as you want it to be. They built concrete that was 50,000 PSI back in the 50s. That's just off the chart for most people, unless they're in post tension uh, uh, construction or they're building high rises. Uh, you know, you talk to the average residential contractor about 50,000 PSA concrete and it's, it's like BS, okay? They, they don't believe it. So, what, one of the first conversations that needs to be had is what kind of a wall structure do we want to have? Guys, ideally, you want to have a hollow wall, okay? So over here, move some stuff around for you. This would be a wall with internal mortar support. So when I'm talking about internal mortar support, I'm talking about a wall where we use the mortar itself to give additional strength. Typically, you'd see this on an exterior wall but it's not necessary. It really gets back to what mix are we starting with, okay? People call us all the time and, and start asking us, you know, you know what, what's the structural strength? What's the tensile strength? It depends, my hell, there's, there's a thousand different mixes that can be used, okay? 
But if you just don't want to deal with the building department at all, then the very best thing to do is build yourself a wall, print it that looks like a cinder block. Put your rebar in it, okay? Uh, pour it solid full of concrete, and voila, you're good. That, that'll pass anywhere, and much stronger. I mean, yesterday I took a Glock 40 cal, uh, a Glock 22, 40 cal, shot a couple rounds into one of our walls just to see what it would look like. Just amazing. Shoot it into a cinder block and see what you get. Blows the thing apart, okay? It's not even, not even close to the structural strength of a wall that is monolithic poured uh, using three to 5,000 PSI. So anyway, back to some of the basics. If I can keep a hollow wall, then I can run electrical through the wall. I can run plumbing, okay? Drop it down in. So it's gonna lower all my costs for structural, or excuse me, for electrical and plumbing. But if I design an exterior wall uh, that has internal mortar support like this, you can see it becomes a challenge. Now we gotta come in through the top plate, eight foot up, drill holes, drop down in to try and uh, get our electrical and plumbing where it needs to be. So if I can avoid this, guys, you want to avoid it, okay? L look at how it's gonna impact all your other trades, electrical, plumbing, uh, your, your venting, your uh, uh, low voltage for security and everything else. It, it impacts everything. If I can stay hollow, I wanna stay hollow. The answer is you can stay hollow. It just depends on how afraid you and your structural engineer is of the building department. And the sad thing about that is, if your structural engineer does his job, the building department does not have the legal right to say no. All they can do is say, I don't understand. Can you please explain it to me? Okay, but if we want a coward, and sometimes that's the smartest way to go. That's the smartest marketing approach is give them what they understand, okay? Baby steps. So we'll give you internal mortar support. You want it this, you want, you want this, you know, every 12 inches. You want the radius of these to be every 24 inches. That is what your engineer will determine once he gets the lab results of the mix you intend to use. And then you have to use that mix, okay? But there are a myriad of different mixes. There's two, there's uh, 50 different types of additives you can put in your mixes. Uh, it changes the cost of your mix. So something like this, we can print this for about a half a cent a cubic inch. You start getting into mixes with synthetic fiber and uh, all these different addi other additives, uh, your, your mix cost is gonna go up but your labor cost for all these other trades is going to go down. Anyway, uh, I hope that answers a few questions about the difference in walls. Hollow wall, wall with internal mortar support, okay? Internal mortar support, that will work in some places. In others, depending on the mix you're using, you're going to have to add the rebar as well, feel it solid. You see the disadvantages in a wall like this, you see the advantages in a wall like this. And uh, so, I uh, hope that answers some of the questions for you. We, we just keep trying to do a better job. Kish is, uh, Kish, Kish uh, Tian is uh, doing all of our videos for us now. She so don't like the, the, the old ones and the way we were doing things, so you can't tell, but I'm smiling. So, uh, you'll see a, a lot better quality and, and a lot more videos out there. That's all she's doing every day is just shooting videos, making sense of all of this. Uh, you know, from our perspective, we take too much for granted. We, we know too much. We've been doing this for three years. We understand you may have only known about concrete printing for the last 24 hours. Uh, and so she's been very valuable in coming in and saying, I have no clue what you're talking about here. And we're like, well, what, do you, what do you mean? Follow along. Wall with mortar support, hollow wall. But yeah, let's go do a video. <laughs> let's explain it to the people, make sure they know it. So she's very valuable to what we're doing here. If you got some videos and ideas that you would like to see, stuff that we haven't shown you, okay, send her an email, uh, kish, K-I-S-H, at uh, 
mudbots.com. So I'm sure she'll make that available to you. Anyway, let her know what you need. Let her know what you'd like to see. We'll put it online for you. Anyway, thanks.